What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be going over the lore of the Lucky Hole Mines, probably one of the most interesting locations in Fallout 76 that I have stumbled upon, especially at the very, very bottom of this place. And let's just say it's a secret within a secret to find this Lovecraft Cthulhu looking monster in this mine. Hopefully you end up enjoying this and if you do consider leaving a like that would be greatly appreciated because this is going to take a long, long time to put together because there is a lot to go over within this area. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this already. Okay, so to start this off, the location of the Lucky Hole Mine is located right over here next to Fort Defiance and the monorail elevator. When you get over here though, before entering inside the Lucky Hole Mine, there will be these three shacks outside. You wanna check the third one on the right here, and there will be a note called Smuggler's Stash. You go ahead and read it. This will contain a password that you can use to open up a security gate inside the Lucky Hole Mine. So be sure to grab this. Anyways, as you can see, it says Claire. Grab everything from our smuggling operation and get it to the Lucky Hole Mine pronto. The whole world's going to hell, and I'm betting we are going to need that stuff to survive. Lock it up in the usual spot. I've changed the code to 238963. Don't stop for anyone. I'll see you soon. Gavin. Now, this gets really, really interesting the further we get inside this place. And I figured I'd make a video covering everything because I have not seen any videos over YouTube on this yet. And it's just really interesting. So, next up, you can search around outside here. Grab some loot if you'd like. But sooner or later, you want to make your way inside the mine. Okay, so when you step inside the mine, if you looked over to your right, there will be a terminal and a desk and a note beside it. Let's go ahead and pick up this note. As you can see, it says, he agrees. And it reads, your offering is acceptable to him. If we go to this terminal and unlock it, you'll notice it'll have four different logs you can check out. The first one is Strange Woman. This old lady came by asking for a tour of the mine. Told her no, the place is dangerous, but that just made her mad. Kept muttering something under her breath. Had to get the protectrons to escort her out. I'm going to make a call to Allegheny Asylum, see if they had any escapes recently. Poor woman, hope she gets help. Closing up. Word came in to shut things down. About time, hate to see a mine closed, but this one is tapped out. I was coming back from shutting down the pumps when I felt someone watching me. That old lady again, but this time she was with a couple friends. They asked again about the mine, wanted to see the depths, wanted me to show them. God help me, I ran. Okay, so the next log is called Break In. I don't know why, but I had to check the mine one last time. Sure enough, the locks we put up have all been smashed open. Look, we don't want it. The mine. It's yours now. Just stay down there, alright? Don't bother us. We won't bother you. Deal? Pretty interesting, so... The strange woman seems to be a part of this mystery that's going on inside this place. But there's also a safe control option that you can use to unlock this safe over here. Anyways, moving forward, there is some more to explore. If you want, you can pick up a mining helmet, some gas mask, I don't know. There's quite a bit here in the lockers to loot if you'd like. And also, not to mention over here, as you can see, this is chained. I'll go ahead and show you real quick how to get inside this place. I have to say, this is a nice little setup this person had going on. But, yeah, you just drop down in here. And, uh, what the, oh, that wasn't here last time. That's cool. But, yeah. That's how you get in. Bada bing, bada boom. So anyways, let's get into more of this mystery inside this place. It gets crazy. We're just scratching the surface right now. All right, so early in the mine, you'll have a choice to either go right or left, and the left path will lead to a locked door, but you can unlock it. Or if you have the lucky hole mine keys, which I will be showing you in this video where they are at, you can just unlock it with those, as you can see. But for the sake of going in order with the lore, we're going to be going right, because there's something that we can pick up going down this way. You'll just have to keep following the mine. Eventually you'll get to this demonic statue, which these are set up everywhere throughout the mine. I believe this is what they had to use to summon this demon at the very bottom of this place. This old woman was getting a calling to this mine for something sinister. And what's really crazy is there is a grave 
a big grave at the very bottom of this place as well next to this giant unknown monster honestly it looks like one of lovecraft's creations but next to this monster is a grave with some sort of demon attached to it it was definitely something down here that was calling the old woman to come here because after all in his log she was wanting to come visit the depths of this place so she already knew something was up with it let's go ahead and get more into the story there are notes that you can pick up around throughout this cave and i'm going to be showing you where each location is at to expose a little bit more of the background of this place so as you can see starting off with this note right here that you can pick up called his birth he is the one who came before the firstborn of the wood blood wept from his branches and he shared with all his believers notice his is capitalized whoever this is is treated like a god of some sort that is for certain anyways our next stop will be located on this table right by this door as you can see there's a note that you can pick up called his blood the woods gave him life gave him strength but the blood gave him purpose he gathered us he taught us to share as he shared. But yeah, really strange, and not to mention what's right behind this table, too. It looks like it's expanding itself. Anyways, we want to just keep proceeding through the mine, so I'm going to choose not to go through the door at the moment. I will show you what's behind those doors later on. Basically, they're just shortcuts through the mines. I'm just taking a long route and getting these notes and, you know, showing a little bit of the backstory of this place. But let's continue on with this story. The next note that we can pick up here is called His Home, as you can see. It reads, His believers united by blood. He told us of our new home, that we would approach the faithless and be denied three times, but that he would open the way. So this, we kind of get the point of who is writing these notes. It seems like whoever that old lady was approaching this mine. Because in that terminal log, the mysterious woman kept coming back and back until, well, she found her way in. Anyways, as for the next stop, will be located over here in his springs, as you can see. The note's titled His Springs, and it says, His believers wept for their new home lacked water, and their throats were dry. He gathered their tears in his branches and spread them upon the earth, and from that came forth the springs. Okay, so from his springs, we are now going to enter into the area that seems to be the sacrificing place, as you can see. It looks really, really crazy. There is a whole setup going on down here where it seems the cult would meet at and sit and listen to whoever was preaching. And it seems it was a priestess because there's a note up here on top of this coffin where it looks like some sort of sacrifice took place here. But anyways, this note says, Blessed are you, first priestess of the wood. Through you, we heard his voice. Through you, we gained his strength. Now this part here helped reveal and clear up some things because at first I thought the old woman was the one who was writing these notes. But it seems like the priestess was the old woman because she was having the callings to come here. So honestly, I'm not exactly sure who is writing these notes. It's probably just one of the other cult members. But here we find out the voices in that mysterious old woman's head was telling her to go sacrifice herself here. Pretty freaking crazy. You can see there is a skull with antlers on it. But in front of the coffin, in the water down there, you can see who they were sacrificing to. They have a whole setup going on. But really, this is still just scratching the surface. There is much more to this place than just this. If you come over here behind this demonic figure, which, once again, it looks like it's expanding itself down the setup they have going on. But anyways, behind that statue, you will notice that there is a giant head inside the rock with the waterfall flowing over it. Now this reminds me a lot of the haunted Dunwich Borers area in Fallout 4 that you could explore. And when going through that area, you would hallucinate and see where they was doing a sacrifice at. And at that place that they were doing a sacrifice at, there is a giant ancient statue head here. Very similar to what we are seeing now. And not to mention, there is even more deeper in here surrounding this giant unknown monster, which I'll be showing you how to get to. And it is very hidden. Actually, if you come up on top of this spring here, you will notice there is holes over here that you can look through. And that is part of the secret area that I'll be taking you to. Anyways, like I mentioned before, 
I would show you what's behind those doors. If you come up the staircase and head up this hill, you'll notice that this would be the door that we could have went through in the very beginning when we had an option to go left or right. I went right just so I could explain more of the background story of what's going on inside here. It is extremely interesting. Before you leave this place though, be sure to pick up the Lucky Hole Mine Keys over here where I showed you where the Priestess Note is. It'll be located in this. Anyways, from this sacrificing place, you just want to head inside this cave right before the staircase here. And this will take us to the next secret that I wanted to show you within the Lucky Hole Mines. As you may remember, in the very beginning, we picked up the Smuggler's Stash Note. And on that note had the password to this keypad to open up the security gate. So the password is 238963. Once you enter that password in, the security door will unlock and you're free to go back here. There are some duffel bags back here that you can loot. I had terrible luck with them. There's also a shotgun, an explosives crate, as well as some other goodies on the ground too. Really nothing too, too crazy, but something to check out while you're in here. Anyways, the next secret within this cave from the smuggler's stash area, we want to head right. We actually passed it right up. It is really easy to pass up. As you can see, there's a tunnel system that we can take right here behind this bush. And this will lead us into that hole that we was looking through earlier. Now, there's even more to this place than just this area too, I will mention. It gets even crazier. Actually, the next part that I'll be showing you is probably the most fascinating part about this Lucky Hole Mine area. But, as you can see, when you get here, there will be a few things that you can pick up, such as the cultist outfit, the steamer trunk that you can loot, as well as a bobblehead that you can get, and, not to mention, some other goodies as well. So, yeah, be sure to pick all that up, and you can actually get around the area that we was looking through, if you come over here. As you can see, that is the sacrificing place that we was at. But, anyways, this next part is probably the most interesting part about this place. I don't even know what this thing is. From this loot room, we just want to backtrack. And instead of going back the route that we came, instead, we want to go through these vines right here can't really see much going through them but you can go through them and this will lead to the most secretive part about this place the most fascinating part oh my gosh just wait you'll see this is really creepy really creepy I don't know exactly what this is but as you will see once we get to the end of this tunnel system look Look at this thing. This kind of reminds me of the monster that Lovecraft has wrote about, the Call of Cthulhu. You can also notice that a bunch of people seems to have, like, pretty much killed themselves down here. There's tons of glass jars on the ground. And not to mention a sickle, too. So it looks like they had some kind of suicide party down here. Then again, I don't really know. I, I think this beast would eat these people first before they even got a chance to drink something. Who knows, maybe that's what they needed to do in order to summon this monster. Anyways, yeah, just looking around down here, you can notice some really creepy things. And not to mention, attached to this grave, it seems that it's part beast and part man. I think it's representing the Baphomist demon. I'm not exactly sure. But if we come over here on the other side of this crazy mutated beast... We can notice a bunch more demonic statues around. But behind them is what's really, really fascinating. You can see a bunch of faces imprinted into the cave down here. There's one, two, three, four, five different faces just surrounding these demonic statues and whatever this monster is. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. If you did find it enjoyable, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. This did take a long time to put together. Anyways, until next time, peace.